This woman from our state wants to make sure that your kids have enough time to eat. She plans to introduce a bill that would help schools allocate time for lunch and recess. And to break it down, we're honored to be joined by the lawmakers sponsoring that bill, Congresswoman Dr. Kim Schreier. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hi there. So I, I wanted to hit you up on, on some breaking news that uh, we have been following this morning out of Pitch, uh, Pittsburgh. It is a, a really scary situation. There's a city bus, several other vehicles that were involved in a bridge collapse in Pittsburgh. And the president, interestingly, is going to be arriving uh, later this morning in Pittsburgh to talk about the new infrastructure law. You yourself were meeting with some iron workers locally talking about the infrastructure law at the COVID pandemic and what this means for the economy and creating jobs around here. How urgent is this situation? Obviously, the situation in Pittsburgh and a bridge collapse there, really scary, uh, puts a new urgency on this. That's right, Bill. We've known for for years that our infrastructure is crumbling. Overall, uh, infrastructure in this country gets degraded. And uh, so we've been trying for years. We tried under the last administration to have infrastructure go through. We finally got it done with a big, bold trillion dollar investment. And uh, you can see from what happened in, in Pittsburgh just what the urgency is. And the reality is that there are crumbling bridges everywhere in this country. And uh, just yesterday, I was uh, at Vantage Bridge, which is the crossing, the, the I-90 crossing of the Columbia River. It's a critical uh, route uh, for agriculture, for our transportation that goes all the way across the country. And there are concrete holes, and that bridge needs to be repaved. Okay, so obviously the need is great and a trillion dollars will do something to address those needs. Um, okay, let's talk about this uh, school lunch bill. Now, you had a similar legislation uh, before Congress called the Healthy Mealtime Act in 2019. How is this bill different as you introduce it? Well, um, we're introducing this bill, hoping it will go through with a package of bills for children. And uh, the bill is uh, is very similar this year. It's been interesting to see how much traction this has gotten with parents, because in addition to being a pediatrician, I'm also a mom. And so I have had the experience of my own child uh, taking a very nutritious lunch to school, coming home, and lo and behold, three quarters of the sandwich and half the apples are still there. And we need to power kids' brains. And so uh, we know that if you schedule a uh, recess before eating time, kids work up, get a, a, a work up a better appetite and consume more of their lunches. If you do it in the other direction and you say, as soon as you're done eating, you can go play, they go play and don't eat their lunch. Absolutely. I think that uh, that is such a brilliant idea. And, and is there science to back that up, that this is a really good idea? Because I've always heard you work out on an empty stomach. That's probably the best way to do it. And obviously, you do work up an appetite. That's right. You need nutrition to power your body, for sure. That's why you have a good breakfast in the morning. Um, there is lots of science behind this. Nutrition groups, the American Academy of Pediatrics is behind this bill, and parents everywhere are excited because they don't want to see good food wasted. And, and this bill particularly focuses on schools that are in the national, uh, on children who get their food, their lunches and breakfasts from the National School Lunch Program. So for these kids, it's even more important because this might be their only healthy meal of the day. And we want to make sure that nutrition gets in their bodies. Okay, but how do you make sure that schools will abide by this? Sometimes, you know, in a large school, it's tough. I, I know from, from my kids' experience, you know, in a large school, it's difficult for them to get to the lunchroom, sit down, get their lunch, and then by the time, you know, they get there and they sit down, it's time for lunch and, you know, to be over, and they got to go back to class. So um, how do you mandate that uh, nationwide in schools? Uh, so it is unlikely that this would be uh, mandated. The study will happen. The schools will be given guidance, and hopefully they will be able to adhere closely to it. But it is not a mandate. It is just it is it is a push. And I think if people are more aware, you know, 25 minutes generally gives children enough time to get through the cafeteria line, sit down and eat. Um, we don't expect that it takes 25 minutes to consume a lunch. And so built in is the waiting time. And the important part is to have the incentive be to eat and not the incentive be to get to go play. I totally get Almost that. any child 
Go ahead. Yes, no, I, I absolutely hear you. you. You're speaking to the kids there on that one. I love this idea. This is a great one. I think kids can really get behind that, and hopefully uh, educators and parents will as well. Uh, Representative Dr. Kim Schreier, great to have you this morning. Great to see you. Thank you.